In music, composers and musicians organize the notes and tones that we've talked about thus far over a period of time. And so musicians have to have a language for how they talk about and organize that time. A uh, major part of that, where it begins, is the idea of tempo. Tempo is simply uh, the underlying beat of the music. Tempos are measured uh, according to beats per minute by a metronome like this. Uh, so a moderate tempo will have sound at about there. We can move into slower tempos like adagio and largo, which sound here. Or much faster tempos, allegro and presto, which sound right here. Now, the tempo you use significantly affects what you're doing with the music. I will demonstrate. We will begin by taking Beethoven's Ninth Symphony at a moderately slow tempo. Sounds like this. Now, we can also take that at a much faster tempo. It will completely change the character of the music, even though it's the same notes and the same rhythms. Beethoven actually gives us that melody in the Ninth Symphony in a variety of tempos in order to create different feels underneath what it is that he was trying to do. Now, with these, we also take this into sometimes the place where sometimes musicians need to accelerate the tempo, uh, and we call that an accelerando, that's the Italian word, or to slow it down. I will show this to you once again with Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, the melody. We will start with a retardando. slowing it down gave it a kind of sense of finality. There's also times when musicians want to accelerate the tempo. Once again, Beethoven's Ninth Symphony theme. Gives you sort of a sense of anticipation of something coming that is going to happen. So, the last thing that I will speak to is the idea of rubato. Generally speaking, tempo need to remain very steady in music, but occasionally uh, composers want the, the performers of their music to take some liberties in order to emphasize certain musical pieces. Um, so there are slight accelerandos or decelerandos woven in throughout the music. Um, this next piece uh, I will play Amazing Grace, and I'm going to play it with some rubato so you get a sense of uh, where accelerating and decelerating kind of influences the music. So pay attention to the tempo and how it shifts. Musicians use to define and describe the tempos used within music.